happy rainy dreary Saturday um I just wanted to have a little talk about the intrusive thoughts that fat people get one of the errands I was running around doing today was bottle returns and um, I go to like a bottle depot place where like humans just count your bottles and give you cash uh, because I so infrequently return bottles it is a lot more convenient for me like today I returned over 600 bottles so like I jammed my car full of bags of bottles anyway so um so while I'm there with these 600 plus bottles. Um, at least 95% of them are Mountain Dew bottles from my husband. And <sighs> the intrusive thought that came in was, oh my God, everyone here is judging me thinking I'm fat because I drink all this soda. And I want to make a comment to, like, the person counting my bottles that, you know, something, say something about how these Mountain Dew bottles are, are not mine, they're my husband's. Just so everyone knows not to judge my body on this. And this is something I have to work on because I kind of froze with that thought for a while. Um... And uh, it, yeah, it, I just kind of froze with it. And those kind of intrusive thoughts where I feel like I have to justify something in my life, whether it's my body size or something I'm buying for whatever reason, any, anything like that. Like, I really suck at conquering those thoughts and having a better reaction. Um, or really just ignoring them. Like, I know I can't control my intrusive thoughts. Like, they're intrusive thoughts. So, but I can control how I respond to them. And what I could have done and what I hope I learn to do, the more I work on it, is that kind of intrusive thought comes like, oh my God, people are judging me judging my body because of XYZ just be like Maria no one cares no one is judging you get you know relax calm down and let's be real if they're judging me it's coming from a place of hurt and they need their own work like we all we know this and like I had hundreds of Mountain Dew bottles. There were people returning hundreds of beer bottles and uh, another person had hundreds of beer cans. Like, we, like, <laughs> what does it matter? We're just trying to get our money back and save the environment. So, it, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's just, so, intrusive thoughts. Uh, I'm going to say they won this round. Because even though I didn't say anything, the only reason I didn't say anything is because the dude counting my bottles is too busy counting to do any sort of small talk. Um, so, like, literally, like, all these people, the employees and the customers, we're all just standing there in silence. Like, we could talk amongst ourselves, which sometimes happens, but that did not happen this time. But anyway, so, um, yeah, so we're going to say the intrusive thoughts won this round, and hopefully next time I respond better and kinder to myself than just freezing there because I can't say anything because they're too busy counting and I'm just frozen thinking everyone is judging me. And yeah, so it's, it's very, very annoying to deal with. And this is just, I don't know if this kind of intrusive thought is because of my traumatic childhood 
or simply because I am just a fat person in America. Because I've, I was not fat as a child. I was too poor to be fat, um, in all honesty. So, like I, but yeah, so it, I don't know where it, where the root cause comes from, but it's still there and it's something I have to work on. So yeah, that's our update. That's our topic for today are the intrusive thoughts, you know, like, and, uh, yeah. Do you guys have any tips? Like, how do you deal with intrusive thoughts? What, do you have any practices that you could share with everyone? Um, yeah, I'm trying not to make this a long rambly video because this is like the third time I've tried and they've all been like 10, 15 minutes long and we know that, yeah, so, um, yeah. So I'm just gonna wrap up, say I hope you guys have a good weekend. It is my kid's birthday weekend, so not that she wants to do anything because she's a stupid teenager. Um, <laughs> she just doesn't. She just doesn't want to. But anyway, so that's what I'll be doing this again. So, yeah. Um, oh, really quick. I had, I stopped by a gas station, like quick check, to get something to eat since I just went and I woke up and started doing my errands. Like I didn't grab anything to eat. I grabbed my water bottle, thankfully, but it was only half full. So, um, so when I went, I found, I went to the section where they've got their protein bars and I have to be careful because I can't have the sugar alcohols because my post-op tummy doesn't like them. But I found this kind bar, peanut butter, dark chocolate. It's, um, I mean, it's only got seven grams of protein. They had other ones that had more protein, but they were also bigger. And I'm like, I don't know if my stomach's going to be able to hold more than this. So we'll just go with this. So, um, yeah, so it was good. So if you need something from a gas station, I definitely recommend checking out the kind bars. So they're definitely worth it. Um, it did keep me pretty full. Um, it looks like there's much fiber are in you oh there's three grams of fiber okay cool so i just you know there's more than just the protein like this is probably going to fill me up more than just one cheese stick even though it's got the exact same protein as one cheese stick so that's why i went with it instead of a cheese stick because quick check does sell cheese sticks so um but yeah so that's this video uh again let's talk about these fucking intrusive thoughts in the comments guys all right i'll talk to you later bye